Hey, hey, what's up? I'm setting up the tripod here. Live video. James Wedmore here with the uh, man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Zach Spugler. And today we're talking all about doing a challenge in your business. I think it's one of the biggest concerns that I hear right now is uh, if you want to reach more people, have a greater impact with your, your coaching, your product, your offer, your service, your software, and the concept, the idea of launching just kind of stresses you the F out. Uh, there's so many moving pieces, you know, the, the, the time, the effort, the energy. And uh, we wanted to have a quick conversation today because I'm sitting here in beautiful Laguna Beach, California, masterminding with Mr. Zach Spuckler, and talk to you about challenges, using a challenge as an effortless way of getting your offer out to the marketplace. So, Zach, what exactly is a challenge? Yeah, so the big thing about a five-day challenge that in terms of when we talk about them for launches is to remember that it's about walking people through a process of what it's like to, to work with you um, in a very maintained environment. And that's what makes it so effortless, is it's five days where you don't have to prove you have the testimonials, you don't have to prove you have the massive list, you don't have to prove anything. Um, you show up, and if you show up for people, you get paid because they can reciprocate and see what it's like to work with you. Got it, got it. So, um, you know, I've personally never, never done a challenge. Why would you, what would you, why would you recommend it to, to me for, for, to do one? Yeah, so the reason we recommend them is they're low risk, they're low cost, and they're low investment of time, money, and effort. Um, the big thing is, you know, we get this question all the time, is like, what makes a five-day challenge, like, so special? And the big thing is that the way that I like to teach challenges is it's not five days of content. Um, it's five days of walking people through what it's like to to experience you and work with you. And so a lot of people struggle with like, well, how am I supposed to show up? Or how am I supposed to do the webinar? Or how am I supposed to script it? And you don't really have to worry about that in a challenge because if you can create small wins for people, which anyone watching can, it's, it's super easy to do, um, they'll trust you through their own experience versus you needing to, to prove it. And I think that that's where we see a lot of people getting started online struggle is how do I prove to my audience that I know what I know? Right. You don't have to do that anymore. So I, I think something for me that I've always seen is uh, the power of getting your audience, your students to have an experience of taking action and yes. seeing micro results, mini yes. wins is so powerful. And I see, I think that's what I see is uh, part of the, the power and potential of a challenge is, is Zach is saying is this experience it's an experience of them winning, of having a win, and you get to offer that. That is, that is huge. So give me an example of a, a challenge, like a niche, and what are some ideas for uh, how you would structure a challenge? Sure. So let's do, I can do one that we actually did, and then we can do a non-business one, because everybody wants the non-business one. Perfect. Um, so one that we did was a five-day funnel challenge, and we help people essentially build out a small five-email challenge. We gave them really simple templates, um, and on the back end, we sold a Facebook ads training. And one of the big feedbacks, and this is part of our system that's kind of unique, is that everybody was like, well, why didn't you do a Facebook ads challenge? Well, because we didn't want to. We wanted to walk people through the process of essentially needing our product. I yes. think that that's something a lot of us struggle with is showing our customers why they need our help when we already see it. Um, so that was that's one that we did, uh, a free five-day funnel training or challenge into a, a Facebook ads course. Um, we can do the, the diet space because that's a big one. So mm -hmm. just as the big red flag, anybody watching in the, the wellness space, five-day like weight loss challenge is out. That's not what people want. Um, number one, people generally don't want to be challenged. But what you could do in the weight loss space is ask yourself, what is my, my product actually for? What do I want to teach? So let's say um, you have a Pilates membership site, right? So you have to ask yourself, what do my people say right before they're like, yes, this is how I know this is what I need to buy. And especially in the weight loss space, we tend to see things like, I'm busy, I don't have time, I don't know if this is gonna work for me, I don't wanna invest in something that's gonna to go to waste. And so what if for five days, you showed them how to fit Pilates into their life? Or you mm. even did um, free, you know, it doesn't have to explicitly be called a challenge to be a challenge. What if you did um, five days, five minutes Pilates? Right, because at the end of five days, they're gonna know that they can show up for themselves for five minutes. They're gonna know what your style is. They're gonna know what it's like to work with you. And so, you know, you can really do them in any space when you ask yourself, what do my clients need to realize for themselves in order to understand that my solution really does solve the, what, what I like to call their, their core problem versus what they say. Like they say, oh, I'm fat, but their core problem is they want a husband, right? Yes, yeah. So how do we get them there? Got it. So. Uh, 
it does, I really like what you said. It doesn't have to be a challenge, but if you put a number on it, five, seven, et cetera, uh, to get a specific result, and then through that experience of those five or seven days, they get those, those mini wins. And I think the biggest thing that um, I want to stress here is that this is a way that you can be selling your product. It's not just a list, even though it's powerful for list building, it's also a way that um, you can take people from a free challenge to the offer to the sell and actually treat an entire challenge like any other launch. Um, and that's that's how you're running your business. Yes, absolutely. We love challenge launches. <laughs> yeah, so now a little bit of challenge inception is you're doing a challenge on challenges. Yes, we are doing a free week-long event starting February 20th um, on how to actually craft your first five-figure challenge. We like to say five figures, um, and I love to be super transparent. Like, I'm not sitting here guaranteeing you're gonna make $10,000 the first time around. What we do know is that this is a system that duplicates and scales up to the $10,000 mark yeah. and beyond. Yeah. Um, but what we wanna do is walk you through five days on how to actually build that out, because what I'm hoping people watching are noticing is, I'm not saying like, oh, day one, Pilates, day two, Pilates. I'm saying it's about crafting a very specific journey that speaks to a need. It's not just about five days of content. And yes. so that's a huge piece of what we'll be walking you through over, over five days is how do you identify what you should actually be talking about? Because if you're like five, you know, five days of any kind of tips, it's not the type of challenge we're talking about. That's, right. that's content. Yeah. We're talking about launching. And if anything, that is the most valuable thing to go through Zach's challenge just to find out, get clarity and hone in what would you do a challenge on is huge in and of itself. So if that's something you're interested in, I know I'm gonna be going through it. Um, if you wanna go through it, leave a comment below this video and say, just type in, I want in. I'm in, I'm interested, let me know. And it's not live right now. It's not even, it hasn't started yet. So we're gonna message uh, everyone who leaves a comment to give you access and officially welcome you into this challenge. Uh, Zach, any parting words uh, or cool tips? We're, we're in the middle of masterminding, so we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get back in, the break's almost over. Uh, any parting words on how someone can just knock their challenge out of the park or just even get started today? Yeah, the biggest thing is, I, I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head. I can't, I can't stress that enough. You know, when I'm working with my students, I can tell um, whether a challenge is gonna be successful or not based on what they tell me it's on. Mm. And so many people are out there I've said it, I think I already said it on, on this, is like, well, why do I need to learn how to do a challenge? Um, you don't, but what we do need to do is learn how to speak to our audience, how to communicate with our audience, yes. what our audience really wants, um, and what your audience doesn't want is five days of Instagram training, five days of this. They want a real transformation, um, and I think uh, not enough people are talking about that. And so if you're, if you're thinking like a challenge could work for me, it really does start with that core promise, and. I am boldly willing to guarantee right now that we will cover that, whether you ever write a check to me or James. Like that will be in the free training. Super important to me that you you get something out of it. So if you're thinking this might even be right for you, throw your name and email, jump in and know you will get something out of it. That is very important to me. Awesome. So do they need to put their email in the not on the chat? Oh no, not in the chat. Just yeah, yeah. when you sign up. So we yeah, can okay. send you everything. So just say I'm in below <laughs> and, and we'll get that to Comment you. Comment below. Uh, it's gonna be live in just a few days. All right? That's it. We're going back. Take care. Have a great day.